So there's a report out today that uh, unfortunately leads to my biggest I told you so segment yet. The report is about uh, the weapons that ISIS is using in Syria and Iraq. According to Raw Story, quote, Islamic State fighters appear to be using captured U.S. military issue arms and weapons supplied to moderate Syrian rebels by Saudi Arabia. The study by the London-based small arms research organization documented weapons seized by Kurdish forces from militants in Iraq and Syria over a 10-day period in July. The report said the jihadists disposed of significant quantities of U.S.-made small arms, including M16 assault rifles, and including photos showing the markings property of U.S. government. Furthermore, quote, it also found that anti tank rockets used by ISIS were identical to M79 rockets transferred by Saudi Arabia to forces operating under the Free Syrian Army umbrella in 2013. So, let me clarify something about this real quick. This report is not talking about the different weapons that the U.S. left behind in Iraq when we left, okay, that ISIS then grabbed and they were using. Now, that also is true. It's also true that the stuff we left in Iraq, they ended up using. But that's not what this is referring to. This is referring to the uh, weapons that went to the Free Syrian Army, the FSA, uh, which the U.S. approved our ally Saudi Arabia to give the FSA the weapons. It turns out it didn't just go to the FSA, it also went to ISIS. So that's the report from today. On June 15th, 2013, it was Obama who approved the weapons to go to the Syrian rebels from Saudi Arabia. And on that day, on June 15th, 2013, I said this. So for the Obama administration to say we're going to go in and we're going to fight and we're uh, going to arm the rebels, okay, you have to understand. That's got to be one of the dumbest things the administration has decided to do yet. And there's a lot of things I disagree with the Obama administration about, as you guys know. But 68% of the American people say, mind our business, stay out of it, it's got nothing to do with us. And then on top of that, when you realize that it's on one side rebels and Al-Qaeda, and on the other side Hezbollah and a dictator, why would you pick sides in that battle? What makes you think if you give Syrian rebels weapons today, that th those weapons are definitely not going to get in the hands of the extremist groups associated with them. What makes you think that? In fact, the opposite should be true. So you're telling me that the rebels are going to have more allegiance to the United States if we give them weapons, when this entire time that the war's been going on, Al-Qaeda's been helping them. So they're going to be more loyal to us, who've been watching from the sidelines, not doing anything, if we give them weapons, than to Al-Qaeda? Who've, who've been fighting with them all along, that doesn't make any sense. No, they're probably telling us, no, it's cool, don't worry, we'll make sure it doesn't get into radical hands. And then the second they get the weapons, they go pass them out to everybody, including people in the Islamic extremist groups. That's exactly what happened. That's exactly what happened. And what's really, really scary and ominous is that I'm not a genius. I don't like I don't have access to extra documents that other people don't have access to. I just as part of my job have to read all these different articles from all these different legitimate news and press sites. So, I get all the information I can and then I read between the lines and I figure out exactly what's going to happen based on the current situation and based on historical trends and based on what I already know uh, about international politics and I was able to deduce that oh yeah, the FSA, the Free Syrian Army, the relatively secular and moderate rebels fighting Assad in Syria, well, they're Sunnis, they're fighting alongside Al-Nusra, which is the Al-Qaeda affiliates and ISIS, another jihadist group in Syria. And and how could we possibly know, even if we properly vet the rebels, how could we possibly know that if these guys get weapons, that they're not immediately going to go give some to al-Nusra, go give some to ISIS? And here's the bottom line, man, because I know a lot of good people in the FSA, they scream at me on Twitter when I say stuff like this. All you need is one defector in the FSA for the whole thing to fall apart. All you need is one defector in the FSA to go to al-Nusra or go to... ISIS, 
and to say, hey, look, I got these weapons from America that were approved uh, through Saudi Arabia, so here, take them. And then what ends up happening? Eventually, the these Islamic militants end up fighting us with our own weapons like they're already doing in Iraq. No, it's a horrible idea. It's What's so pathetic is that I apparently knew better than the State Department did in June of 2013. I knew better than Obama did in June of 2013. It pains me to say that, but it's true. Apparently, all of Obama's advisors and the entire military-industrial complex, which makes money off this, was screaming to him, No, get fun, yes, fund the Syrian rebels, fund the Syrian rebels. John McCain, Lindsey Graham, all the Republicans, a lot of Democrats at the time. Oh, Assad's such a bad guy, he's so terrible. Fund the rebels, fund the rebels, fund the rebels. And it was me and a handful of libertarians that were screaming at the top of our lungs, No, the part of the rebel movement are our biggest enemies, Sunni jihadists. How do you know if you fund the secular ones that it doesn't get into the hands of the worst ones? How do you know that? And now we learn that did happen, and they're fighting us with those weapons, just like I said would happen, and just like uh, what happened in the 80s with the Soviet Union and with the uh, Mujahideen in Afghanistan. We were so anti-communism and anti-Soviet Union that we gave weapons and support to the Mujahideen, and we said, the enemy of our enemy is our friend, so we hate Russia, they hate Russia, they're fighting Russia, give them weapons, and then it's, it'll be cool, they're on our side. And that's when we funded Bin Laden. The Mujahideen broke up into the Taliban and Al-Qaeda. They have U.S. weapons because we gave it to them. This is the fatal downfall of the United States of America, among many things. We always end up arming people that fight us with the weapons we give them because we're so involved overseas, we're so interventionist, we're such an empire that we can't help ourselves. If Halliburton and KBR and Raytheon and Boeing and the military-industrial complex make an extra nickel, we say, yeah, give weapons to our enemies, it'll be totally fine, man. No, it's not fine. And now we find ourselves involved in a bigger conflict and a deeper conflict because the weapons that we left behind in Iraq from when we left and the weapons that we gave to the FSA went to jihadists and now they're using it to persecute the Yazidis in Iraq, persecute the Shiites, to try to set up uh, an Islamic caliphate, and now we're on the ground fighting them because we fucked up again.